Oh no, you done did it. You done fucked up now. J just when I thought we were all in agreement that planking is fucking stupid, you had to go and invent owling, which is twice as fucking stupid as planking. Anyway, you know when you pull up to a hotel and you give your car keys to the valet? You ever wonder what they do with your car? I think I figured it out. My guess is they do something like this. Man, that was great. 300,000 views in two days. You have to look at it from this perspective. What could have possibly happened? What could have possibly taken place to make that car flip end over end multiple times? I mean, seriously, what the f causes one to park his or her car like a boss? Like a boss. 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 I mean, look at that. Boom! And I love that he gets out of the car unhurt and nonchalantly, like, checks for damage. Is my car okay? Man, this dude parks his car like he bangs his women. End over end. I'm not really sure what that's supposed to mean. But I do know that this guy's a jerk for taking up two parking spots. Man, I don't give a damn what you do to your own car, but don't take up two parking spots. You know what kind of asshole takes up two parking spots? Probably the same kind of asshole who practices owling. I'm just putting that out there. So if you're from a country full of brown people, then it's very likely you like soccer. What? It's not racist, it's true. Get the fuck out of here. So there was supposedly this big soccer game on the other day. I don't know, I don't follow. But while you guys were watching the players kick the ball up and down the field and fake injuries and all that shit, one of the players actually scored. And this little fat kid celebrated. Now, kid, I'm gonna have to ask you to put your shirt back on before Chris Hansen walks in and asks the whole stadium to have a seat over here. I mean, seriously, calm down there, big sexy. There's no reason to do the truffle shuffle every time your favorite team scores. I mean, if you really wanna celebrate, I think a simple applause will suffice. All right, a couple of things here. First of all, props to the guy who took the time out of his busy day to videotape his own television and get this video up to 400,000 views. And two, what about the cameraman at the game? Like, that team just scored and his camera is focusing on some kid in the crowd. Like, yeah, take it off nice and slow there, fatty. Like a boss. Why is this guy touching his junk? Dude, this is neither the time nor the place. Why does this guy have absolutely no reaction at all? That guy's like the worst fan ever. I mean, who goes to a sporting event and when a team scores, they're just like, eh. Whatever. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not ripping on the kid. I actually think he's great. I mean, who cares if he's a little overweight? We can all learn something from him. Ladies, if you would take your shirt off every time you got excited, you might have more friends. I'm just, just putting that out there. Oh, you're gonna love this one. It's Japanese. And of course, I don't know the context for the video. I don't know who the fuck these people are or what they're doing. But all right, all right. There's this couple here and they've got an egg yolk here, see? Now this next part is pretty awesome, but I want you to remember before you freak out, it's just an egg. Now that got 400,000 views in about five months, and needless to say, that was fucking nasty. Ugh, who does, what the, an egg, ugh. Ugh, you need to wash your hands, wash your mouth out, you nasty motherfucker. Ugh. No, seriously, go watch the whole video. They spit it back and forth into each other's mouth, like, ugh, like a bunch of nasty motherfuckers. I can't, I gotta watch, like, after I watch that video, I gotta, like, wipe off the computer screen, because it fucking, ugh, it's fucking gross. Yeah, leave it to the Japanese to turn salmonella into a freaking an STD. Okay, now, now I don't watch porn. Well, I'm too busy going to church and shit. Shut up. Okay, so I don't watch porn while I'm sleeping, but I hear that the Japanese, like in their porn, they blur out the dude's junk. Okay, so you're gonna blur that out, but this net, this fucking egg spitting into each other's mouth, that's okay? Like, that's cool with you? I mean, is this how they make scrambled eggs in Japan? It's a technologically advanced country. God forbid they use a fucking egg beater. I mean, seriously, if this is what they do to their eggs, I don't even want to know what they do to their bacon. And what's worse is people are commenting on it, like, like they're into it. One guy was like, I'm gonna try that with my cousin. Typical, dude probably likes owling too. But you know what, never likes stupid, lame, dumb, 
fucking stupid owling? The comment question of the day, which comes from a user named BAM, and she said, If you could plank anywhere in the world, where would you plank? Oh, um, by the way, don't actually plank, it's really stupid. So if you could plank anywhere in the world, where would you plank? How about right on top of your fucking mother? Leave your interesting or creative responses in the comment section below. Or on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. But well, thanks for watching today's episode of Equals 3. I'm Ray William Johnson, and I approve this message. So tell me, guys, if you could perform any spell on me, what would it be? I've been stalking your mom for like two years straight. I'm way too shy to ask her out on a date, so I just wait in your neighbor's lawn with my camera ready and my camouflage on. And I know that I'll get plenty pics when she leaves for work at exactly 7.26. I follow her on my bike, but it's hopeless, cause I'll never keep up with her for focus. So I kidnapped her, golden retriever, wanted to return her just to please her, but forgot to feed her. So if you're from a country full of brown people that this joke is so wrong. Chris Hansen walks in and makes now. I up the one line.